Hello there, this is Hootie from HootieTuts.com. I'm uh, going to be going through a little uh, text on the path here, which a lot of people want to learn. Going to use uh, pre shapes here. Uh, Q is the shortcut to my shapes, and I'm wanting to, to draw a circle. If I have my materials palette set up like that it's going to leave like a blue center which I don't want to have so we'll undo that and I'll cut off the blue on the background color and it should just leave us an outline this time and this is a vector shape I want to center that in the canvas and have to look at uh, objects you can't see this I'm sorry but you can center it in canvas there. Now you can see our circle centered in the canvas where we got room to put text around the outside. I'm going to use our text tool, which I type a T to get our text tool. And I have my uh, blue turned back on here instead of having it melt. When you do text on the path, uh, the path in this case is the circle. The circle shape that we got there and when we move our cursor into the right position if, if I miss the position this is what it looks like looks like uh, we've missed the boat here which we have what you have to do is watch your cursor and uh, see how it changes right there that's what you want. That's that means that you're going to be putting the text on the path. If I left click on there, what I have typed in puts it right on the outside of the circle. And that's pretty cool. Uh, that's one thing that you could do. If we wanted to get to the inside of the circle instead of the outside, we could go to offset up here and change that to 50. Let's watch what happens. Oh. We went the wrong way, so we have to type in a minus 50. And that puts it inside the circle. And let's see, what if we wanted to have it both above and below? Of course, you can make adjustments to put it as close as you want to up there. Let's see, let's back up here, change our offset to zero again. And that puts us back to the start. I want to add another line here that hopefully is going to be some words. Let's see. And you see how far that is from, from here? Uh, we want to move the hoodie tuts in this part back up a little bit. Let's change our leading. I already have it worked out. That's on, the only reason I know. Change that to minus 400. Uh, you have to put a decimal point in there. Let's see what happens here. Got to highlight this first. Minus point four hundred, and then we have it both on the outside and the inside. Pretty snug as a bug, right? Let's undo this, and what if we wanted to put some text at the bottom instead? First, we need to change our settings back to the starting place, so zero here. And uh, see, our offset's already back at zero, so we're good there. If we were to add text like we did at the top, down at the bottom, you're going to see uh, what happens here. It puts our our words upside down and that you might want that sometimes but that's not what we want this time uh, we want it to be the way that you would normally read it what we have to do before we add the text is to uh, reverse the path and contour and we have to go to our pen tool and the shortcut for that is V as in victory press V now we're on our pen tool, and we're going to convert to path. Then we have to right click again, and edit, reverse contour. 
Now we can go back to our text tool again. And now when we put our text on there, we look for that little special cursor change. Now you see it does it properly. Pretty cool, huh? From here we could apply it if that's what we wanted. What if we wanted it moved outside of the uh, circle? We could change our offset to minus 50. And you see it moves it down below the circle. So that's that's some pretty easy stuff. Let's uh, show you a couple more things while we're in here. I'm undoing so we get off that reversed con contour and path. Uh, what if we wanted to run this uh, around the circle a few times? Let's see what would happen here. I'm just copying and pasting a couple times here. Uh, you, you see where the where it runs into each other? Maybe you don't want that. Who would? You want to be readable. You can change the font size. And that's a little bit better. Of course, you can make it even better than that if you want to. It depends on how tight you want to make it. That's too much. We're about 32. Let's see what that does. That's pretty good. That's one thing that you can do. Uh, another thing is what if you want a hooey touch run to the right side a little bit you could use your text alignment you got left right and center we use we've been using center on this um, the text alignment send your toolbars at the top on your text tool but let's say I want to run it over a bit on your keyboard you can hit your space bar and it moves it so you can move it right around to wherever you want it and that's pretty neat too Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is just a few ideas that you can do with text on a path using a circle shape. And I hope you come and visit us at hootytouch.com and join our classes. We got a join our classes button there. And uh, join our K&T classes. We teach PSP and animations. Uh, thank you and this is Hootie saying bye.